Welcome to another Canvas Update video tutorial. In this session, we will explore the exciting new Draw to Edit tool. This tool is designed to enhance your editing capabilities and your creativity, even if you don't have drawing skills. Let's dive in and see how it works. The new Draw to Edit and Simple Pencil tools can be found in the top bar of the Canvas Editor. You can select each of this new tools by drop-down menu or use the corresponding shortcut. In this tutorial, we will explore the Draw to Edit tool. Both the Draw to Edit and Simple Pencil tools have a similar interface. The pencil icon allows you to draw, while the erase icon helps you correct any mistakes. You can control the size of the pencil stroke using the brush size slider. The bottom section provides you with a selection of predefined colors to work with. Additionally, you can access the palette window to choose any color you desire and adjust its opacity using the alpha channel. These tools offer you flexibility in terms of color selection and customization. Finally, the eyedropper icon allows you to select any color from your display. You can access any time the eyedropper tool by using the shortcut key zero on your keyboard when in drawing mode. This tool enables you to precisely pick colors from your canvas or any other part of your screen, making it convenient for matching colors or sampling existing elements. Let's see how to use this tool. In the Draw to Edit tool, you have the ability to make modifications by drawing only in an image. You can't use Draw to Edit outside an image. You can use simple or elaborate drawings to represent your ideas for image modifications or to add elements to it. To change the color of the hair, you can start by roughly painting the areas that you want to be affected. The modifications will be applied to the drawn regions, influencing the colors and tones of the surrounding pixels. Just like in Image to Image, the Draw to Edit tool also features a strength slider. Increasing the value of the strength slider makes it more likely that the generated result will closely resemble the shapes and colors of your drawing. This is useful when you want to achieve a more faithful representation of your input. Conversely, lowering the strength value gives the generator more freedom to be creative and make its own interpretations. This can lead to more artistic and imaginative results. Finding the right balance between your input and the generator's creative output by adjusting the strength slider can help you achieve the desired effect in your edited image. So, the Draw to Edit tool allows you to directly draw on the image, giving you the flexibility to modify specific parts or add new elements. It's a powerful tool for image editing and unleashing your creativity. I will now demonstrate two more examples using the Draw to Edit tool. I like to apply a filter to my edited images to enhance their overall aesthetic. For this particular image, I will use the image to image feature with a high strength value to tighten up the image and achieve an enhanced look. And that concludes our tutorial on using the Draw to Edit tool in the Canvas Editor. Stay tuned for more videos featuring examples and workflows using this powerful tool. Thank you for watching.